ask me a question afterwards or during if you like and I'll give, I'll give you an answer but just to summarise it where the garden actually started was in the rainy Colombian <laughs> rainforest on the Panamanian Colombian border some of you or well, some of you do know and some of you might not 13 years ago me and a friend made this stupid mistake of plant hunting in an area politically we should never have been in the first place to see rare species of orchids on the Panamanian Colombian border and were kidnapped by this Colombian guerrilla group Amazing to be talking to you today because me and Paul really, a friend I was with, to put it bluntly, should be dead. After being kidnapped, put onto our hands and knees, hands behind our backs and these big, <coughs> big M16 stuck to our heads, dragged off into the bushes for the next three quarters of a year in captivity. To this day we don't know who they were or what they wanted. They were really just sort of youngsters, 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds with all their, their big guns. Some four or five hundred different people that were holding us during that entire time. and. The garden started three months into our captivity, 13 years ago, when this, I'm putting it, editing it for today. No swearing, Tom, please. <laughs> I'll try my best. Quite scary on June, June the 16th, three months into our captivity. In this palm house they built for me and Paul, they divided into two bits with a palm leaf barrier. So for six weeks we couldn't see or speak to each other. Something mm. like that. Quite a bad period on that day. For lots of reasons. You ask me afterwards, I'll tell you. <laughs> Won't do it now. And um, basically, in this guy walked, just turned 14 with his AK-47 gun and said, you've got five hours, mate, before we shoot you. He turned his back with no hesitation at all. Opened up my diary to the centre pages, two blank centre pages, and started scribbling out my dream garden design plan. <laughs> What's turned into the world garden as a way, isn't gardening so therapeutic, gardeners? And it was a way, really, of, of dealing with the situation, if you like, of what he might do to me. And when, finally, after three quarters of a year, the situation finished and they released us with no explanation to this day to come back here to nothing since the end of 2004 beginning of 2005 to do the world garden was fantastic so something really positive has come out quite a, a scary situation brian's here brian's here jim brilliant 245, 245 in the church Go brian hewitt's here fantastic i'll mention at the end cheers jimmers it was just amazing to come back here after that experience and to this day, as I say, we don't know who they were or what they wanted, we still don't really know. The only unofficial explanation, I'm sure you'll disagree with this this afternoon, of why they actually released us, is apparently they thought I talked too much. <laughs> <laughs> they just couldn't take me talking about orchids any longer. We shut the entire group down mentally. They just couldn't face us. Tom the gardener, please just... <laughs> go away, go away, that's right, go away and get lost. And to be rescued by the Colombian Red Cross was amazing. For Christmas to be back here was something else. What a crimbo, what an Xmas. And to be greeted by the ambassador's wife in Colombia was something else. And I kid you not, for her to give me and Paul a box each, a memento of Colombia, of Ferrero <laughs> Rocha. <laughs> I mean, it was just insane. Barking mad. Unbelievable. And to show you today the best the garden has looked since we started eight years ago, I have to say today, there's some great stuff to show you from nothing. The garden, born out of that just turned 14 year old saying you've got five hours mate before we shoot you. This two acre wall garden with nearly 8,000 different types of plants. Hopefully to show you the majority of those this afternoon is tremendously therapeutic. Just one last thing to say, I'd normally say it in, in, when we go in, but to say now for a group this size, Roughly the say two acre wall garden, the first acre you walk into through the Victorian Moongate, the great granny, great granddad installed in that era. We come into the world garden with about 5,000 different varieties of plants on it. You can see in the centre of your room as a map of the world, roughly. A lot of you know this, I'll just this up again for you. Plants from UK, Ireland, when you're talking North and South America, Asia, Japan, Australia, Tasmania, North and South Island, New Zealand, Canary Islands, and Africa in the middle centre of the garden, roughly in their shape because you see them when you open. So the 3,000 varieties are found undercover, undercover <laughs> if it really comes down. And the two of those plants I wanted to show you, the exclusives for today, are in the cactus house, which is looking stonking, <laughs> if you can use that word. It's looking fantastic. So come on in. Last person in, please shut the gate. The rabbits are on standby. <laughs>